Senator Amy Klobuchar, a CNN presidential town hall, Monday night at 10 Eastern on CNN. A convicted serial killer who has confessed to killing more than 90 people and is already serving three life sentences is now helping investigators identify his victims uh, by hand drawing their portraits. These are the sketches. All of them are women, all painted, he says, from memory. The FBI is hoping the images will help them crack several unsolved cold cases. So CNN's Gene Casares is on this for us. And so back up and just tell us who this man is and what he did. It is amazing. His name is Samuel Little, and he was living in a homeless shelter in Kentucky. He'd led a nomadic life just all around the country, different places. He was extradited to California on a narcotics charge. They got his DNA. They ran it through the system. They found that DNA matched three female homicide victims. Wow. So that initially showed them, wait, we've got something here. They decided they needed to do a full profile, find out what his whole life was all about. They put him through the FBI's violent criminal apprehension program for felons and they he, they found a profile on him they linked him to Odessa Texas there was a homicide victim there they knew he'd gone through Odessa West Texas about that same time the Texas Rangers went out to California with the Department of Justice they gained his trust mm -hmm. he started confessing to 90 women that he said that he murdered 90 and they said the details were unbelievable that he had on these women and then he himself started to paint a, a picture of who he said these women were with amazing detail on these photographs he was not that good on the timeline when he murdered them but of these 90 two of them have actually been confirmed and identified family members told and now they've got justice 34 of the 90 have been confirmed to his confession and there are some that are about to be confirmed and some that are not yet corroborated at all but the FBI is asking for anyone if you have a family member that went missing didn't come back you don't know what happened to them this is between 1970 and 2005 to look at these pictures contact them because they may be able to give your family member justice and you answers that you've never been able to have. So if you actually saw one of those pictures, reach out to the FBI, um, 90 women, what an extraordinary story. Hopefully some people, I don't believe in closure, but at least some, some families can, can move on to the next chapter. Yeah. Jean Casares, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.